Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy, Matt Deasy, back up in there, and today, that's it. It's battle time. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. So yo, today, we're going to go ahead and get a battle going on. Now, I've done a comparison of a mid-side Bluetooth uh, speakers before, like the Macau Sound Boom and the Ion Tailgater Express, and don't worry, Sometime in the future, we may do an all-out battle royale, but you know, we'll see how that how this one goes, and we'll go from there. Now, the reason why I wanted to go ahead and get this battle going here with the Unt Angle 3XL and the Apple Tronics A440, which for the rest of the video will be called the 440 is because these both have a very similar form factor. All right, so we have a sort of triangular design or a housing design that allows the the uh, the actual music to come at you at an angle, all right? So that being said, we have both of these in our, in our repertoire. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and run this battle on five categories. The first is the look. First impressions mean a lot. Next is the sound. And we are actually pulling out a new toy for the sound quality. And you guys can already see we got some iPads behind them, geared up, ready to run some, some music, all right? Let me just touch that screen, make sure it doesn't close out on me. You know what I mean? Because we're going to run that, run that right there. After that, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the battery life, of course, the intangibles, and overall. So let's get started. First, the look. On both of these units, they are top notch. And yo, no pun meant for my iPhone peoples out there with your, with your notch. Yeah, my bad on that, y'all. Don't worry, though. We're going to keep it moving. The unts has a sleek and slimmer design with a very similar one to the other angle lineup. So if you have any unts in your repertoire, you know what it looks like. It has that same triangle look. This is just the big boy for them, okay? The Alpatronics though, the 440, is gray and black with that little hint of red right there in the middle to separate the little buttons that you got. And you got the standout which is the size is not that overpowering in the space that it does does take up. Okay, now with that being said, though, I think we're going to have to go with the UNS because it's a very familiar form factor, and more importantly, it's a completely enclosed form factor. I'll explain that in a little bit. All right, so we got the UNS that has one point so far. The next round is the sound round. Oh man, it, okay, good, okay. Now the sound round is gonna be something else. That's gonna be the one that we're gonna test the sound here, okay guys? So today, we're gonna try something a little bit different. Here's what I'm talking about. Due to my man, and I'm gonna give him a shout out here, Ace underscore Alex P, we pulled out the decibel meter, okay? So me talking right now, the decibel meter says it's about 90, okay? So that lets you know how loud I am. <laughs> now, because he asked for the decibel meter, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the max so it shows us the max decibels for each unit. And that way you guys can see exactly how loud this product is. All right, so first, we're going to pull up the 440, okay? And when we're going to go ahead and do the 440 in a minute here, what I want to also let you know is that the decibel meter does allow you to go to know the loudness of a product, but it doesn't necessarily give you the bass. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to also give you my opinion on which one has that better bass at the end of the loudness test here. Now, keep in mind that when you talk about like a stadium um, concert, you're talking like maybe somewhere between 125, 135 for the decibel meters. That's the usual count. 
So let's go ahead and start off with the Alpatronics 440 right now. By the way, the, the actual deci decibel meter is about a foot away from the products in the middle there. So I have both of them angled right at it. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, and you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power as long as you're trying to make it there's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe that Aren't you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back? Okay, so that's the Alpatronics, and I want you guys to remember something here. These are copyright free music on YouTube, so there's actually going to be a bigger, louder sound that comes off of your paid music. So your, you know, your iTunes, your Spotify's, your um, anything else that's actually proprietary to you. So if you got Google Play, you should be good to go as well. Just like what I do. Um, last night I actually ran off some. Um, Sean Paul I was listening to. I had some Sean Paul playing at this little get together and just to test out the decibel meters when I got it, it said that was a, on the Alpatronics 102 was it? 102.6. That's not bad. Okay? Again, considering that a stadium is somewhere in that 125 to 135 decibels. That's pretty cray. All right. So next up we have the Unts Angle 3. All right, we're going to play the same song. As you can tell, these are both iPads, so they're running the same same everything. I'm just going to run, this, run the Unts off of this one and the Owl off of that one. That's the only difference. All right, so here we go with the Unts running the same copyright-free song, both turned all the way up. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different and you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it though You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fuck Okay, so it's over It's over right there I couldn't believe it Okay, so again It's right in the middle See where that light is? That's actually my um, my center lane right here where the where the where the um, oxy what is it oxy the A is all right. So it's coming straight down here, and the Alpatronics the 440 was at 101. What did I say? 101.3, 101.3, and the max for the unts already is 104. All right, guys, I want you to understand something. I did not expect that. I'll tell you why I did not expect that. The Alpatronics is 30 watts. It's got two passive radiators for the base, but it's 30 watts. The Unts is 24 watts, but it has three passive radiators for the base, and it's pumping something special. Okay, so while we have the Unts winning the look, I didn't expect it, but the Unts just won the, f the sound. 
That's crazy. Okay, so little info. I'm very hyped. Okay, I'm very hyped. And let's start with the uh, you know the 440 has that has that 30 30 watts. It's pushing this bad boy now by itself. If you're at a party and this is all you got and you run in this, you're going to be fine. Okay, you're going to be fine. The 30 watts is nice. The clarity on the highs, the clarity in the mids is there. The bass is not as punchy as the unts. It's not as full and round as the as the unts, but you know it's there. You do feel it with the unts. It's more room filling the bass, if that makes any sense to those out there. You bass heads out there know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so this, um, the 440, the decibels on it's about 101.3 up to 0.6. That's not too bad, all right? Now, that is no joke. Of course, now what I want you to understand is when you're talking about a competitor in a competition, that's where the separation happens, okay? What we have here is the 24 watts from UNS with the indoor and outdoor feature. I want you to know something. That was set to indoor. Outdoor, it's even louder on the bass. Okay? So the, the decibels on that was 104.0, and it has three passive radiators. The highs and the mids are phenomenal. Clarity which I didn't actually expect, because anybody who has unts before knows they're usually bass heavy and it's very tingy and, and, and twiny and twingy on the on the actual highs. I know those might not be words, but still, you go, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, right? But the bass is normally over the top and that takes it to that next level for you, so that's why a lot of people get these unts ultras. The three ultra, which you can do the little pairing thing to, I didn't really want to mention it yet, but we'll get into that in a minute. All right, so for this one, this battle right here, based on sound, the winner has to go to the unts. Wow. Next, it's a very simple one. We're talking battery life. Let's talk some specs, which is usually how, you, how it goes, okay? The specs on the 440 is 5,400 milliamps. Wow. On top of that, it has a USB out port. So you can actually charge devices with this bad boy. So that built-in battery is going to work for you. It's not going to just push the actual speaker. It's also going to push your device. So whether that's your tablet, whether that's your phone or whatever, you can actually charge it with this. Now, what else we got? On the... Unts. We have the straight Unts battery on that is 2200 milliamp hours. So basically half of what the Alpatronics has. So that's, that's a little peculiar, especially at the price point, but we'll get into that. And you know, when it comes to that real world test for me, the standby time was phenomenal. I had this when I first got it, the, the 440, I plugged it in, charged it overnight. Woke up the next day, unplugged it, used it in all, like walking around the house with it, you know, playing music. Now the actual drop rate usually drops out at about maybe 35, 40 feet, maybe a little less, depending on your walls in your home. It drops off and starts to, starts to disconnect from the product. But life-wise, I didn't have to charge it for like a whole week. Like the next, I, I charged it the Saturday, I pulled it off the Sunday, by Friday night, it was like, okay, I might need some charge now, okay? So that's that's crazy. The standby time on that is no joke. However, the UNS seems to have a way of, of utilizing that 2200 that it has. So this lasted for about four or five days on that one charge. So I'm very, I'm very impressed with both of these when it comes to standby. The actual UNS also does have a USB out port so you can charge your devices as well. So I would give this to the UNS if I could, but based on specs alone, I can't. I got to go with the 440 on this. So the 440 got the battery test on lock. Next, and you might hear some page turning every now and then. I had to take notes because this was so crazy. Okay, so now we have my favorite category. It's the intangibles. These 
are the little things that make a product stand out. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about the 440 because I had never heard of the Alpatronics before I got this joint. And I was like, yo, Alpatronics, is they trying to like, are they trying to like go back to old school? Is it like a mix of Apple and Tronics from back in the day? Those like Technotronics and stuff. I didn't know. So I wanted to test that out. So I got this, picked this up. Little tiny things make the product for me. So I don't know if you guys can see this right here. You got a little, little company branding, the labeling. That's cool. The handle, the built-in handle. You see that there? That's cool. All right. It's got the proprietary pin for for charging. It has the on-off switch in the back. It's a but. It's a little toggle switch. So it's a, a physical twi a physical switch, and not like a button you have to press on top or something like that. That's pretty cool. So when you know it's off, it's off. Um, and finally, of course, charging your devices. But there's one last thing that Al came with. The 440 came with a carrying bag. What? A mesh carrying bag. That is dope. Okay, so you can, on top of the handle, you can also bring it, uh, push it around with that carrying bag. Or you can carry that with the handle and carry some stuff with you in the carrying bag because, you know, you got to carry your stuff when you go into like the beach or something, right? So there you go. However, the one thing that maybe they're waiting for the 442 chairs is. It's not IPX rated. And don't worry, y'all. I'll make sure in... Excuse me. I'll make sure and link my video down below for both of these. But so that you understand, the Alpatronics didn't come with any IPX rating. I went over the box. I called the customer service. I did everything. And yo, they don't have any IPX rating. And why is that? Real simple. That little area right there doesn't have a doesn't have a cover. There's no flap, no nothing to go over that. So sand, dirt, wind can blow it all up in there. Rain, rain water, whatever can get all up in there. So you got to be real careful when you're taking this with you, where, wherever you're taking it with you. That that that's 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 sad. I gotta say that's sad, y'all. Okay, because I was really looking forward to bringing that everywhere with me. Including the beach. Well, you know, in South Florida, we go to the beach all the time. We go to the pool all the time. I mean, it's summer. It was 95 degrees this morning at 9 o'clock in the morning. Of course, you got to go out and be out in the sun. And nope, couldn't take this with me. However, the UNTS, the XL, that has the IPX5 rating. Now, that doesn't mean you can bring it in the pool with you or in the water with you. But it can get wet. If it rains, which every person who lives in South Florida knows... It rains at least once a day in the summertime. You're going to get wet if you're outside. So you, <laughs> so you got to go ahead and make sure you have some IPX ratings on your stuff. And on top of that, the other very crazy thing about the XL is that it is an Ultra. Unlike the 3 XL last year, the Ultra allows you to link two of these together. So you can make a left and a right channel at 24, at 24 watts that is crazy okay crazy now when it comes to the fact that they both have usb ports that's a wash but the one thing that makes the biggest difference in my book is simply this the unts ultra xl unts 3 xl ultra is 129 dollars and 99 cents which by the way for all it does that's that's basically a steal. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 wonderful. I love it. I, I bring it everywhere. It's it's nice. It's just nice. The 440? Right now, and I'll don't worry, I'll drop a link below. It's $49.99. What? That's right. You can get two of these for the price of one of those. Heck, you can get two and a half of these for the price of one of those. So for that alone, this round goes to the 440. So that is two to two. Okay? Two to two. And what's that last category? The overall. And now here's the deal. 
When it comes to overall, that means to me that product between the two of them that I take with me everywhere. That if I if I have a choice, what's the one that I pick up and carry with me? And I'm going to tell you, I cheat. That is correct. I cheat. Because when you talk about carrying something, the handle alone should make you want to go with the, with the owl, right? But it comes with a carrying case. And guess what? That carrying case can also fit the unts. You see that? So guess what? When it comes to carrying it around, when it comes to just being in my, being in my hand the whole time, it's got to be the unts. It's got to be the unts. It's no joke. That 3XL, that bass, that pop, that hit, everyone comments on it everywhere I go. They're like, yo, what speaker is that, dude? Is that a Beats? Is that a this? Is that a this? Is that a this? No, Joe. It's a unts. Unts? Yup. It's a unts. That's right. The unts takes it. The unts wins this battle, in my opinion. Now, if you have the means, the unts is no joke. No questions asked. However... If you're living on a little bit of a budget, you got 50 bucks to spend to burn. The owl is no joke. 30 watts all up in your mouth. It's good. It works. It works, yo. So do me a favor. Go down below. Let me know what you think. Which one of these won the, won the battle? Which one of these are you going to spend your hard-earned money on? I want to know. Let me know down below. And while you're down there, go ahead and give me them thumbs, yo. Give me them thumbs. And hey, remember, be the hero in your story, not the villain in someone else's. Peace.